And what happens is the schooling system makes us helpless. At the end of 15 years of schooling, we emerge believing that we can't change the world. We say, nothing changes here, everything stays the way it is. Because we have been through this 15 years solving the wrong problems. So design thinking and design for change has been able to tell children that first portion, find out what the real problem is, and then go about designing that. Don't just design the wrong problem. And uh, that we're seeing is having a very powerful uh, way of getting children to think. And then I will not be helpless. I will understand that I can be a driver of change. And that's a very powerful um, attitude to, to get our children to believe. Design for Change, uh, the, the concept, um, like I said, took birth over a phone call. Okay, so I was, I was having a conversation with a friend of mine who was coming up with an idea of getting India to think about giving. He was calling it um, the joy of giving. And um, he was sharing the idea with me and I was telling him, I said, you know, it has to start with children. It has to start with children believing that they can reimagine the concept of change, the concept of giving, and be able to understand they don't have to be big or rich or 18 to make change happen. Every child feels differently, right? And that's the power of that first step, feeling. Um, we ask children to observe patterns in their society, in their school, in their neighborhood, about anything that bothers them. It could be the garbage in the street, it could be bullying that's happening in their school environment, it could be raising funds uh, for um, an underprivileged um, other school. Uh, so it's really anything that bothers them. And then the next step is imagine, which is brainstorming. Uh, so they look at different criteria for brainstorming about whether it has impact for long-lasting change or whether it is uh, the maximum number of ch people impacted or the quickest to replicate. So when they are identifying criteria for choosing the act of change, they look at it under these different formats. And then they just go and do it. And I think the biggest life-changing process happens in the do. Uh, because when they're out there, uh, when they are improvising while they are changing lives, and it's changing them more than anybody else. You can't change anybody's life without it changing yours. We are amazed by how children who are 8, 9, 10 and 11 year olds have tackled some of the most um, incredible greatest challenges that we face. And they do it in in ways that are so pure, that are so simple, that are so audacious. Um, and we then just become uh, the collectors of the stories. So Design for Change today is just a collector of all of these stories now. So, um, I, I mean, I was sharing a couple of examples, but I'll give you one very powerful one. A little school in um, a village town in India, uh, where the children, where the girls, when they reached around uh, the fifth grade, that is around 11 years, stopped coming to school. And nobody knew quite why. So when Design for Change reached that particular school, uh, the boys decided to take that story. Uh, they figured out the reason the children, girls were not coming to school because there was a single bathroom and the bathroom did not have a door. So the girls didn't have privacy. So obviously they were not going to come to school. And this was a very poor school. Uh, so they didn't have money for any infrastructure. But they used the imaginative process. They had big coconut trees. So they took the leaves of the coconut tree. They wove a door. They put the door back and then they invited the girls back to school. That's the power of change. Cool. The curriculum and the toolkit is in 15 languages. 
currently and growing because as it goes to a country that country partner translates into that particular language and we have we have already have it in 10 Indian languages it is the most inclusive idea it is free there's no money in, attached to it uh, design for change is an open source idea so all the material is up on the site free free to download free to innovate free to use so there is no cost attached to it it doesn't cost anything to change the world we managed to reach 30,000 schools um, in the first year, that was 2009. And then in 2010, it went global. We reached around uh, 20 countries, uh, 100,000 uh, schools. And this year, we are in over 35 countries, and it's growing. And we will be reaching 25 million children with the simple toolkit.